Greetings, and welcome to episode 51. In today's episode, we'll be discussing having a bad day, and that everybody has them, and that it's okay, you'll get through it. But uh, I just happen to be having one today, so I decided to make the show about it. <laughs> so if we're ready, let's get started. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, having a bad day. <laughs> what does that mean to you? Because it means something different to everybody. And having a bad day, suffering of any type, and I'm not necessarily suffering, is suffering is relative. Having a bad day is relative. A bad day for me might not be a bad day for you, and like vice versa, having a, you having a bad day, I might think is what, what? that bothered you. <laughs> because let me explain nothing bad has happened to me today not one thing but there's been a negative energy dogging me since this morning and I may have drew it into being and it's just kind of been festering and there's just been a weird energy surrounding my day which is okay I can live with that but it's affecting me on, a, on an emotional level and kind of on a mental level it's it's, it's messing with the headspace because we all have our parameters that that we function at optimal level optimum optimum efficiency I should say and the energy is just fluctuating it's all over the place and just it's not, not a good day for me for anybody else, you might not even notice it. So, it's nothing to you. But, to me, I don't necessarily have to have something bad happen. And the funny thing is, if something bad happens, it doesn't necessarily mean I have a bad day. Matter of fact, I'm less likely to have a bad day if something bad actually happens to me than if I'm having a weird energy day. And I'm having a weird energy day. I mean, like I said, uh, outwardly, physically, I'm having a great day. It's just, it's all internal. I always say the adventure is on the inside. Well, some of the really, really bad shit's on the inside, too. <laughs> I feel like I'm being attacked from several different sources. Some of them aren't really attacked, but it it's affecting me. And... It's really, really troublesome, we'll say. It's it's more than troublesome. It's actually, it's really, really bothering me. But, <coughs> excuse me, I do have a few techniques to get through it. I'm unable at this point to use the techniques simply because I'm making a video and before that I was running around I had to run to the store so I'm not able to just sit and meditate and focus because that's one of the things it's really easy for me to slip into a meditation and focus and it's not happening for me today actually it's been the last couple of days it's not been able it's not been working out so well but yesterday wasn't so bad energy wise it was just that I noticed I, I had trouble slipping into meditation had trouble focusing and it seems to be worse today and uh, I'm gonna talk about how I get out of it but bear in mind this isn't for like if you wrecked your car bad day or got fired bad day or fighting with your boyfriend girlfriend husband wife bad day this is just if you're having a bad energy day and their energies are fluctuating and you're having trouble focusing <clears throat> but actually for the past I want to say week couple of weeks I've been noticing my energy has been really scattered and it's almost like sharing space with people invol involuntarily and 
normally it's okay, but when I'm at a point where I can't just push it away or stop it or turn it off, then it becomes a problem because then I have trouble focusing. I have trouble getting in and out of meditation. I can't seem to find my space today. But I'm okay with that because not every day is a perfect day. I just decided to make a video of it. Now every other video I may have made, that I have made, I should say, I've been in a really good energy space. This is the first time that I've made a video on a day that my energy was bad or scattered or however you want to explain it. But yeah, it bothers me. It fa I feel violated. And I know I can get it back, and I'm, I'm okay with that. But on the same token, it's... It, you can almost feel like someone's wearing my it feels like someone's wearing my flesh and trying to experience my life through me but the funny thing about that is you can share space with someone and try to live try and experience a bit of their life through them but it's no different than getting into someone else's car and expecting to have their driving skills <laughs> I don't care how nice their car is. It could be a race car. And just because you get in that car, you're not going to just magically have the owner's skill or the driver of that car's skill. It's not going to happen. Not only are you not going to have that skill, you're still going to see life the way you see life. People don't understand that. Well, if I'm, if I'm in his body... <laughs> you're still going to be you. You're just going to be you in my body. <laughs> well, I don't see what you see. Well, <laughs> because you're only going to see what you see, no matter where you're standing. If you don't see anything important standing on your front porch, you're not going to see anything important standing at the North Pole or the South Pole or anywhere. And that's what it feels like. Like someone is with me saying, well, I don't see what you're talking about. I don't see what you see. Well, that's because you're trying to see it with my eyes. And my eyes are just physical manifestations of the power of sight. Ooh. <laughs> How I see the world and what I see is dependent upon how open my mind is my own perspective and my thought processes you don't have those so you're only going to see it the way you see it well how come it's not working for me did you try the techniques that I put in a few of my other videos if you haven't go back and watch the other videos try a few of the techniques they work they work for me but like I say in the videos they might not work for you but there are plenty of other teachers out there like I say, I say this almost every video. These videos are not monetized. The only person that benefits from these videos is you, the viewer. Don't cut off a potential wellspring because you don't see it in one video. I don't see what you're talking about. Well, stick around. Or go back and watch the other ones. If you've already seen all the other ones and you've gotten to this one and you're thinking, well, I don't understand. I don't see what you're talking about. It's not a matter for your brain or your eyes or your ears or your taste or your touch. It's a matter for here. Most of the things, most of the techniques I have are not a talent of the mind. They are a talent of the heart. That is the... Uh, could be the thing you're missing, the linchpin that holds it all together or brings it in. When you meditate, you don't meditate through the mind. You meditate through the heart. You could meditate through any chakra, really, but it's best I've found 
that's a disclaimer I've found <laughs> if you at least start your meditation through the heart chakra and then expand from there that's what I didn't do I didn't light incense it's okay though Oh, my days off. <laughs> my days off. It's easiest for me to make my videos on my days off. And part of my bad day could be that uh, I drank the other day. And I think that the alcohol is still in my system. And I think that's part of it. Part of why my energy is not where I'm used to it. Because I'm not really used to drinking. I don't drink all the time. I drink very rarely. But it's not usually this hard even drunk to get my energy and my my energy <laughs> to get my energy from being scattered but like I said it does feel like somebody is trying to share space with me and from what I can gather it's not somebody I know uh, doesn't bother me it bothers me that I feel violated it bothers me that I can't control my energy today but today is today tomorrow's a new day and it's I've been on this planet 40 years and I've never had this last longer than a day so it's still a bad day what do you do when you have a bad day energy wise and if you don't know what I'm talking about then I apologize and maybe uh, learning a few of the techniques I have to teach will help you get to a point where you can experience this type of bad day <laughs> <laughs> like I said, my videos are not monetized. The only the only people that benefit from my videos is the people watching. Uh, I get no no money whatsoever. Just the joy of making a video and a little little giggle when the numbers go up. That's it. <laughs> uh, I have decided I will probably never monetize my videos because I really just like getting this information out there and I don't want it to seem as though I'm just pandering for a buck or a quarter or a dollar or whatever and I wow it's even hard to articulate today my energy is just whew, gone <laughs> everywhere it's over there it's over there it's a very weird feeling and, and I do feel very violated like somebody's in my space trying to do something more than one person even but uh, I think that's what it is is that it feels like it's more than one person but that's okay like I said today is today tomorrow's a new day and hopefully I'll get past this but uh Normally, meditation, light an incense, and meditate through each chakra, trying to achieve clarity. Uh, what is clarity? Clarity is dispelling, to me, clarity means dispelling the ego all the way down to the center, to where it's just you. And then from there, expand out from the center instead of some people draw in the energy that's outside of them and work from that but that's the easiest way to develop an ego on accident because you're drawing in the energies of others which means you're drawing in their opinions also so that means that's what this thing is going to be made of because you're drawing in energy I shrink down to the center and I give off energy But even that doesn't seem to be working. Okay, it's working a little bit. A very little bit. But that's how little energy I have, I'm feeling today.
almost as though I have several people trying to get me to explain to them how does it work how do you feel well how do you feel <laughs> how do you feel if you're watching this and you're one of the people that's sharing space with me right this second then how do you feel because life is about how it makes you feel not how it makes me feel I can speak to you as, according to how it how it affected me and how I experienced it but if you want to try these techniques out you're going to have to try them according to your experience how it feels to you well I don't know how it would feel and see that's the kicker that's what makes it so hard to learn it because you don't know what to expect you don't know how it feels you don't know what it looks like just let go of your perception of what it's going to feel like or look like you can even just feel just feel anything love hate anger sadness feel feel something now breathe through that feeling as though it were a filter or a membrane that your breath can easily pass through I'm focusing on love right now I'm trying to shrink all the way down to the center till I'm nothing because I don't have a problem with that. I don't have such low self-esteem or self-image that I can't shrink down to nothing. Or almost nothing. I'm okay with that. <laughs> and that just found me. Oh, I'm back. Yay. Oh, so no more bad day. Yay. <laughs> But it's okay. Wow, that was in teaching. <laughs> we learn. So I just found myself all the way down at the bottom. But it's okay. Because it's okay to shrink down to nothing. Maybe you just do that. Maybe you just picture yourself shrinking beneath perception. And interpretation until you're the smallest little thing in there and breathe through that and then as you're breathing through it feel it expand until you're the right size again <laughs> it just worked for me you should try it <laughs> and if that doesn't work for you we can try something else but I think I'm going to refrain from drinking for a while because I think that's what caused it uh, which is probably why I don't drink very often in the first place <coughs> causes me to have scattered energy uh, but I don't do much of anything else that's the only thing I, I can do because uh, I don't know if you haven't watched any other videos and I've mentioned this before in some of my previous videos my other videos uh, I am a over-the-road truck driver by trade and I have a class A CDL so I can't really partake of much of anything else because as long as I hold I don't drive truck for a living right at the moment but as long as I hold a CDL I am beholden to what is called the FMCSR which is the Federal Motor Carriers Rules and Regulations And if I do not adhere to those, I can get myself into a lot of trouble just because I have a CDL. Class A CDL. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. But uh, the least of our worries, in any case, is being inebriated or not in reality in whatever way, shape, or form. <laughs> of whatever we decide is reality, whatever. <laughs> I can't get high. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> but it was brought to my attention that I look high in my videos. That's because I tried to achieve meditation in all before and during all of my videos. Not today so much. I'm trying to, as we go along, because I'm trying to get my energy back to normal. 
but uh, if I don't look high today, that's why. Because <laughs> I'm having trouble meditating. But uh, <clears throat> I, wow. Uh, yeah, it's a really bad day. I'm having trouble thinking, articulating, even forming the words with my mouth is kind of difficult at times. Just not very good day at all. I wonder what's in that stuff I drank. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's... Oh, but I feel good. I feel good. It's a weird sensation. I feel good, but at the same time, that's that's like an outward material feeling because technically I'm having a good day. Like I said, nothing bad has happened today. Nothing. Not one thing. But my energy scattered and I feel violated because of it and I'm, it's starting to come back because I'm trying to meditate differently using my same technique but I'm trying different aspects and different angles and trying to get around this problem or through this problem and like I said uh, if I go sleep on it tonight I'll probably wake up feeling as right as rain and if not pff, oh well but uh <clears throat> yeah this is something like I said we all have bad days some are worse than others some are relative any type of bad day could cause you to be slightly more aggressive or irritable and today I'm very irritable because my energy doesn't feel right. Ooh, excuse me. So I'm trying to stay away from people. And when I get around people, I just keep my mouth shut because I don't want to say... Ooh, excuse me. I don't want to say or do anything that's rude or unpleasant, which... Which is weird because if my energy was fine, I wouldn't have a problem being rude. I just don't like being involuntarily rude where you didn't just don't you're not in control of your reaction to the world it's one thing when you decide to be rude it's another thing when you're rude and you're like Ooh, spiritual Tourette's <coughs> or in this case emotional Tourette's whatever <coughs> but yeah <coughs> excuse me wow <laughs> I can get through this. <laughs> I might even end up cutting this video short. I'm having that bad a day. I just it just feels awkward and weird and bleh. like someone's wearing me like a suit and then there's another suit on top of that and it's ugh, gives me weird feelings. But yeah. When you have a bad day, do you go through something similar if your energy's not right? I mean, and, and when you're having a bad, like, outward material day, like your favorite chair broke, your TV broke, you wrecked your car, your bad news, whatever, what do you do? Because those things, the outward things, don't cause me to suffer. Oh, my chair broke. Oh, well. You know what I mean? That's how I see it. It's the in, inner stuff that messes with me. And you'd see that as, well, that's nothing. Well, <laughs> I'll trade you. <laughs> Not really. I wouldn't trade any part of my life or any part of anyone else's life because I quite enjoy being me. But, yeah, I think we're going to call this early because I feel that off of my game. But uh, bad days. Yeah, we all have them. <laughs> Just, if nothing else, I want the viewers of of my channel, show, episode, whatever you want to call it, I want, I want you to understand that these things don't just happen to you. It's happening to me right now. 
So if nothing else, here's one other person that goes through that really weird stuff that you can't talk to anyone about. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I'll probably get through it. And, uh, but, yeah, I'm going to call it. If, if you have enjoyed this video or got something out of it at all, please click the like button. Uh, you can favorite it if you want. But if you would like to keep coming back and getting more information, or you just like the sound of my voice, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But until next time, you hang in there. I know I am. <laughs>